Good morning, Janice. Good morning, Anthony. Today, we're going to talk about DIY or do-it-yourself wills versus lawyers for solo agers. Because many of our solo ager clients just often ask, you know, who should draft my will? Should I do it myself? Should I hire a lawyer? Or can you do it, Anthony? So we'll try to sum up our response to that here in this episode so we can just, you know, share the link. Absolutely. We get this question what, all the time, almost every day. Yeah. Okay, so the default should be um, hiring a reputable estate planning lawyer to do your will for you. Um, benefits, you know, you get the peace of mind of knowing that it's been done correctly, which you might not quite have that same level of peace of mind with uh, software or do-it-yourself do packages. Uh, a human being, you know, AI is pretty good, software is pretty good, but a human experienced attorney will spot problems that a DIY situation will but just often miss, you know, just... Uh, humans can look around corners just based on experience, sort of. Right. Uh, the drawback, of course, is that hiring a reputable estate planning attorney is can be costly, especially cons uh, relative to doing it yourself. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, well, if you do this, if you if you do go this route, which we sort of recommend, um, make sure you at least find somebody who specializes in estate planning or will preparation, and and not the guy who who got you off your D DUI uh, and also happens to do wills at the same time. I mean, no offense to either uh, subsection of the profession, but it's just completely different sub uh, skill sets. Yeah. You're right. Right. Absolutely. Okay. So then the next scenario is do it yourself wills. And we have some tips if you're going to do it yourself. Yeah. Um, so it's a fine option these days. The software is much more well-developed than it was 10 years ago, even five years ago. Uh, we did an episode, didn't we, Janice, where we, we had some, a yep. link to, uh, we reviewed some of the options, yeah? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We, we'll put that link in there because that was helpful to see what we went through the process and see how it came out. Yeah, exactly. So then um, this is a pretty good option, the do-it-yourself do it option. Uh, it's especially good if you think you'll be making um, you know, revisions quite often. Uh, and the reason for that is each revision with a with an attorney can be quite expensive, more expensive than yeah. you might expect. You might just think, oh, I just want to change a name or two. Um, it actually costs a bit. So um, it varies from attorney to attorney, but it's it's not free usually. <laughs> it's not, it's, no, it's not free because they have to go through everything, right? Just because you change one word in your will doesn't mean there's not maybe 50 other places it has to be changed. Uh, and, and and they have uh, attorneys, we have a duty to make sure, you know, we can't just yeah. say, okay, we'll swap out Joe, Joe for Bob. You know, we have to make sure your situation has changed. Otherwise, right. not really professional, um, right. you know, it's not a professional way of um, conducting yourself. Right, right. So the, the other tip we have for if you're going to do it yourself is at the very least, please consider hiring a lawyer to at least supervise the signing ceremony. Um, and that's where you sign, you recite certain things, you make sure the witnesses are done a certain way, you make sure the, the affidavits are done a certain way. And number one, you can you can usually find a local attorney, a local attorney who's experienced at will signings. That's important. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And they'll usually do this for a fraction of the cost of a full blow a full blown estate plan because it's just quote unquote just the estate plan or excuse me, just the signing ceremony. Just the signing. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So and they're not going to go through it though. Right. They, they're not going to tell you if anything's wrong. Right. They're just gonna supervise the actual signatures and the witnesses to make sure that whatever you put on the piece of paper yeah. is what you want. But assuming the, the do it yourself software is good or is satisfactory, um, it's all for nothing if you if you fail the technicalities of the signing ceremony. So and which are just harder than you would imagine. And we've seen even lawyers, you know, inexperienced lawyers screw it up. So just yep. Just pay the couple hundred bucks to get that done yeah. with somebody to supervise. Yeah. yeah, Absolutely. And then lastly, we get this question just all the time. Um, Anthony, why don't you, uh, as my professional executor, draft my will? You're an attorney, aren't you? Yes, I am an attorney. And yes, I have done thousands? Lot. Well, at least hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> A lot, yeah. Yeah, of estate plans in my, in my not my heyday, but in my past. Um, but just... I used to, but now I don't because we're, I'm 100% focused on being the best possible professional executor for you and other clients. And that just means we're really, really tightly focused on those issues after somebody passes away, kind of taking care of real estate and closing accounts and tax issues. We're just, we're, we think we're pretty good at that, but it just doesn't leave a lot of room to be good at other things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of like what you said earlier when you go to a DUI guy to exactly. do something else or a family lawyer to do a DUI, you know, we're focusing. To do it right, yeah. 
And we don't even have, or I don't even have the software anymore or the fancy paper to do your will. Yeah. Or we, like, I just don't have the setup at all. I would be doing it from scratch, which you don't want to be the first, nah. you know, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the first that, one. And all right. <laughs> that being said, I am happy uh, for anyone who is nominating me as a professional executor in their plan or trustee. I'm happy to give you, uh, to do a non-legal advice review, meaning not as your attorney, you have an attorney hopefully doing that for you. Um, I'm happy to do a review for you just to make sure there's no glaring red flags or just obvious mistakes that are going to just blow up your whole estate plan. I can I, I can do that very quickly, yeah. Yep. Which is a, a good idea, you know, to just, again, have somebody look it over. Yeah. Just to, just in case. Um, if you want to learn more about this, uh, definitely recommend there's a link down there for the Solo Ager Estate Plan book that Anthony created. Um, has a lot more information. But this we get this question, what I honestly like every day. Yeah. So um, hopefully this answers the question uh, for many of our clients and prospective clients, and um, hopefully it just helps. All right. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Thank you, Janice, as always. Talk soon next time. Bye now. Bye.